All right, today we've got a good tip for a better fit, and it's all about the thumb hole. The fit of the thumb hole is so important for a nice, clean release. I got one of the best here, Marshall Kent, with me to help us demonstrate this. A couple things with the thumb hole. Most of us do have oval thumbs, so an oval-shaped hole would match. And when, if you have an oval thumb hole with an oval thumb, ideally you should not be able to get your thumb in sideways in the thumb hole. The wide part should go to the wide part of the angle, not in the skinny part. We can use tape to fine tune that shape and the fit. The tape in the hole is more for sizing. You'll see some bowlers have tape on their thumb. In my opinion, that's more for protection, not so much for sizing. And when you're using thumb hole tape, you have options. Some bowlers like all the tape in the front of their thumb hole, some like it in the back, some like both places. It's up to you, you gotta play around to see what's right for you. The key is, we don't want you to squeeze hard with the ball. If the thumb hole is too loose, you squeeze, your thumb will bend, creates tension of the wrist of the elbow, and can definitely cause you to come over the top and turn the ball early. So what we're seeing here, we're seeing Marshall's thumb hole. You can see how the oval is. Another good tip, we don't want the tape necessarily at the front and back of the hole. We want the tape to match the front and back of your thumb in the hole. So if you think about a face of a clock, the top and the bottom of the hole would be 12 and six. For right-handers, most of the time, you want your tape about one o'clock and seven o'clock. So the tape will match the front and back of your thumb in the hole. For most of us, it's kind of hard with our fingers to get the tape in the right spot. So it's easier to have a tool. You can have a pair of scissors, a pocket knife. If you don't have anything like that, you can actually use the backing from the piece of tape, fold it over a couple times and use that as your tool to insert the tape. Now these days, a lot of us have switchable thumbs for different sizes, correct? Even with those, you still want to use tape to help fine tune the fit. And that tape gives you a little bit of texture, can help you get out cleanly, but without the squeezing, Without tape, those thumb holes can get a little bit slick and slippery. All right, so there you have it. Lots of good tips for tape and thumb holes. Apply these tips, you'll be more consistent, have a better, cleaner, more consistent release and better ball motion. One last quick tip, change that tape often. If your white piece of tape is looking black, it's time to change it. It's full of dirt and oil. Good luck and good bowling. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our video today. Hopefully you learned something you can apply to your game. Do us a favor, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be notified every time we drop a new video. Also, if you'd like to get backstage access to our coaches, you can join our online community at backstagebowling.com. Use the coupon code SAVE20 to save $20 off an annual subscription. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.